What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and in this light painting tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I created this image right here. I was over at my local Home Depot and found this skull in the clearance bin. It's just a couple days now until Halloween, and also we've got the election coming up and the possible 2021 apocalypse, because Lord knows what's gonna happen next in this crazy world that we're living in. So I figured this would be a good one to share with you guys and show you exactly how I'm creating it. Hopefully you get some inspiration from it and maybe you'll try it yourself. The tools that I'll be using to create this image are, first and foremost, I've got a new flashlight here. It is the FollowMov Tor B4M. I just got this flashlight in the mail today and I like it a lot so far. As always, I will be using the universal connector to attach all my light painting brushes to the FollowMov B4M, just like so. The light painting brushes tools that I'll be using are the black fiber optic. Attached to the black fiber optic is a custom screw on color filter that I created here. All I did was take some gels and put them down into the screw on color filter. I used red, yellow, and orange to create a fire effect. And when I put that right here into the universal connector and illuminate the light, you can see it has this red, yellow, and orange effect, which creates this fiery type of look. The only other tool that I'll be using in this image is the red crystal light pen. I'm gonna use the red crystal light pen to illuminate the eye sockets of the skull here. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take the light pen and place it inside, just to the inside here of the eye socket. And then I'm going to turn the light on, kind of move it around a little bit and turn the light off. The main thing that I need to watch out for is that my hand does not block the illumination from being recorded by the camera. So I'm gonna kind of do it off at an angle like this. I don't wanna be like this, where I'm blocking the camera from seeing the illumination of the eye socket. For 90% of the image here, I'm gonna be using the black fiber optic. When using the black fiber optic, the main thing you wanna keep in mind is that it does matter the way that you hold it. So if I'm pointing it directly at the camera, I'm gonna have streaks of light from the illuminated tips of the black fiber optic. If I'm holding it more down like so, this will create more of like a smoky effect. As you can see, it's just kind of picking up little hints of light rather than pointing it directly at the camera where you're getting these bright streaks of light. The first thing that I'm gonna do to illuminate the skull is I'm gonna take the black fiber optic, spread it out in my hand just a little bit like that and place it right in front of the skull. Then I'm gonna turn the light on, kind of drag it up over the skull like this and that is gonna do two things. When I drag the black fiber optic up over the skull, it's gonna create a line effect from the bright tips of the fiber optic, but the skull is also gonna be illuminated by the light that's being projected off of the fiber optic itself. The next thing that I'm gonna do with the black fiber optic is simply create like a smoky effect all around the entire cloth that the skull is sitting on. And the way I'm gonna do that is simply taking it and just kinda tapping it and moving it around like so. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the skull, just like this. And this is gonna create this kind of smoky, fiery effect all around the entire area that the skull is sitting in. The final thing that I'm gonna do with the black fiber optic is create what look like, or at least what I think, look like embers in the image, like burning embers that are kind of all around the base of the skull here. The way I'm gonna create that fiery look is just by taking the black fiber optic and placing it right down on the cloth, right around the base of the skull here. And I'm gonna stay really close to the skull when I'm doing this, but I'm just taking it and placing it on the cloth for maybe two seconds, then picking it up and moving it. Placing it down, one, two, moving it. One, two, moving it. One, two, moving it. And every time I place this down on the cloth, it's gonna have these little tiny highlights of light and they look like burning embers in the image, which is really adding to this whole fiery effect that's going on around the skull. The camera that I'm using is the Canon 6D Mark II and I'm shooting with the Sigma 24 to 105 lens. The settings that I'm using are ISO 100, F8, and I'll be shooting on bulb mode. 
The exposure time is gonna be about one minute or so, maybe a little bit over that. If your camera only has the capability to do something like a 30 second exposure, you can absolutely create a very similar image to this one. You might just have to move a little bit quicker and maybe bump up your ISO to say 200 or something like that to adjust for the faster movement of your light. Now I'm gonna turn off all the lights and uh, create the image. Go ahead and start the exposure now. I'm gonna be using the red crystal light pen to illuminate the eye sockets. Again, starting already in the socket, turning the light on and just kind of moving around for about three seconds. One, two, three, turning the light off. Now I'm going to the other side here and I'm just, again, making sure that my hand is not in the way of the camera. So doing the other side now. One, two, three. There we go. Now I'm gonna be switching to the black fiber optic with the screw on color filter. Be starting right in front of the skull, just using my hand to kind of spread the fiber optics out a little bit, turning the light on and now just dragging the fiber optics up over the skull like so. Now I'm just kind of shaking the fiber all around the skull itself to create that smoky, fiery effect all around the skull. I'm gonna fill in the entire frame using the same effect here, kind of all throughout the image, just shaking the fiber optic, creating the smoky, fiery effect all around the skull here. And the final thing I'm gonna do again is create those embers and that is just taking the fiber optic and pressing it directly down onto the cloth to create all those points of light that are gonna look like those burning embers in the final image. I'm keeping this very close to the skull because I want it to look like the skull is the source of the fire in this image. And that should do it for that image right there. Go ahead and stop the exposure and see what we got. And there you go. That looks pretty daggone cool. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. A couple things to keep in mind. It does matter how you hold the black fiber optic. So if you're pointing it directly at the camera, you're gonna get more of those lines. If you're pointing it down and kind of shaking it around, you're gonna get more of that smoky effect. And then if you push the fiber optic onto something, you will get those little dots of light which can create that ember effect if you're using like a red or orange color or uh, other colors create really cool effects as well, almost like a sparkly fairy dust type of thing happening and it looks really cool in your images. If you do have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. If you like the video, please do hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. Until the next video, get out there and get creative.